History and Class Consciousness, Studies in Marxist Dialectics German, Geschichte und Klassenbewitzung, Studien über Marxistische Dialektik is a 1923 book by the Hungarian philosopher Georg Lukacs, in which the author re-emphasizes Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel's influence on Karl Marx, analyzes the concept of class consciousness, and attempts a philosophical justification of Bolshevism. The book helped to create Western Marxism and is the work for which Lukacs is best known. Some of Lukacs's pronouncements in history and class consciousness have become famous. Nevertheless, it was condemned in the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, and Lukacs later repudiated its ideas, and came to believe that in it he had confused Hegel's concept of alienation with that of Marx. It has been suggested that the concept of reification as employed in Martin Heidegger's Being and Time 1927 shows the strong influence of history and class consciousness, though such a relationship remains disputed. Topic. Summary Lukacs attempts a philosophical justification of Bolshevism, stressing the distinction between actual class consciousness and «ascribed» class consciousness, the attitudes the proletariat would have if they were aware of all of the facts. Marx's idea of class consciousness is seen as a thought which directly intervenes into social being. Claiming to return to Marx's methodology, Lukacs re-emphasizes Hegel's influence on Marx, emphasizes dialectics over materialism, makes concepts such as alienation and reification central to his theory, and argues for the primacy of the concept of totality. Lukacs depicts Marx as an eschatological thinker. He develops a version of Hegelian Marxism that contrasted with the emerging Soviet interpretations of Marxism based on the work of Georgi Plekhanov and the dialectics of nature inspired by Friedrich Engels. In the essay, What is Orthodox Marxism? Lukacs argues that methodology is what distinguishes Marxism, even if all its substantive propositions were rejected, it would remain valid because of its distinctive method. According to Lukacs, Orthodox Marxism, therefore, does not imply the uncritical acceptance of the results of Marx's investigations. It is not the belief in this or that thesis, nor the exegesis of a sacred book. On the contrary, orthodoxy refers exclusively to method. It is the scientific conviction that dialectical materialism is the road to truth and that its methods can be developed, expanded and deepened only along the lines laid down by its founders. Lukacs maintains that it is through Marx's use of the dialectic that capitalist society can be seen as essentially reified and the proletariat viewed as the true subject of history and the only possible salvation of humanity. All truth, including Marx's materialist conception of history itself, is to be seen in relation to the proletariat's historical mission. Truth, no longer given, must instead be understood in terms of the relative moments in the process of the unfolding of the real union of theory and praxis, the totality of social relations. This union must be grasped through proletarian consciousness and directed party action in which subject and object are one. History and Class Consciousness was republished in 1967 with a new preface in which Lukacs described the circumstances that allowed him to read Marx's newly deciphered economic and philosophic manuscripts of 1844 in 1930, two years before their publication. After reading them, Lukacs concluded that in history and class consciousness he had made a basic mistake, that of confusing Hegel's and Marx's respective concepts of alienation. To Hegel, alienation is the objectivity of nature, but for Marx, it refers not to natural objects but to what happens to the products of labor when social relationships make them commodities or capital. Reception and influence Extremely influential, history and class consciousness is the work for which Lukacs is best known. Lukacs' pronouncements in What is Orthodox Marxism? have become famous. History and class consciousness helped to create Western Marxism in Europe and America, and influenced Karl Mannheim's work on the sociology of knowledge, but led to Lukacs being condemned in Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union. In response to the communist attack on his work, Lukacs wrote an essay on Vladimir Lenin's views Lenin, a study in the unity of his thought. In his later career, Lukacs repudiated the ideas of history and class consciousness, in particular the belief in the proletariat as a subject-object of history, 1960 postface to the French translation. As late as 1925-1926, he still defended these ideas, in an unfinished manuscript, which he called Talism and the Dialectic. 
It was not published until 1996 in Hungarian and English in 2000 under the title A Defense of History and Class Consciousness. The political scientist David McClellan writes that the publication of Marx's key earlier writings vindicated Lukács' interpretation of Marx. The philosopher Lucio Coletti believes that although the publication of those writings disproved some of the assumptions of history and class consciousness, the problem of the nature of alienation remained valid. Lukács' work was a crucial text for the French situationist Guy Debord, although Debord wrote in The Society of the Spectacle 1967 that Lukács, by arguing that the Bolshevik party provided a mediation between theory and practice that enabled proletarians to determine events within their organization instead of being spectators of them, was describing the opposite of how it functioned in reality. Jürgen Habermas's initial understanding of Marx came through Lukács's work, while Tom Rockmore has described it as brilliant. Some writers have compared Lukacs to Heidegger, though the existence of any relationship between the two has been disputed. The Marxist philosopher Lucian Goldman argues in his posthumously published Lukacs and Heidegger, Towards a New Philosophy 1973, that the concept of reification as employed in Heidegger's Being and Time 1927 showed the strong influence of history and class consciousness 1923, although Heidegger never mentions Lukacs in his writing and Lawrence Paul Hemming, writing in Heidegger and Marx 2013, finds the suggestion that Lukacs influenced Heidegger to be highly unlikely at best. The critic George Steiner writes that Lukacs, as the author of History and Class Consciousness, shares with Heidegger, "...a commitment to the concrete, historically existential quality of human acts of perception and intellection." The evolutionary geneticist Richard Lewontin, the neurobiologist Stephen Rose, and the psychologist Leon Kamin draw on Lukacs's ideas in Not in Our Genes 1984. The critic Frederick Cruz writes that in History and Class Consciousness, Lukacs, made a fatefully ingenious attempt to abolish, through metaphysical prestidigitation, the newly apparent chasm between Marx's historical laws and the triumph of Bolshevism." The economists M. C. Howard and J. E. King praise the sophistication of Lukacs' Hegelian understanding of how to specify the interests of the proletariat. The philosopher Slavoj Žižek describes the Lukacs of history and class consciousness as the philosopher of Lenin's historical moment. Zizek believes that Lukacs' achievement is to bring together the topic of commodity fetishism and reification with the topic of the party and revolutionary strategy. See also Cultural hegemony False consciousness Georg Lukacs bibliography References Topic Footnotes Topic Bibliography Books Topic External Links Georg Lukacs, History and Class Consciousness Georg Lukacs, Preface to the nineteen sixty seven edition of History and Class Consciousness.